just gonna jump right in here. This game is Kageki, Fists of Steel, and this is the joke final boss, a man who's been torturing you throughout the entire game, but in fact he goes down in just one punch. Kageki is a strange mix of a fighting game and a beat-em-up with some punch-out elements thrown in, strangely enough. The game is very repetitive and each stage is pretty much the same, so I'm just showing you the final boss. So how the game works is you have a light attack and a power punch. The main challenge in the game is making sure that you're on the same plane as your enemies. As soon as you get the timing down for the power punch and you learn how to level yourself with your opponent, you've pretty much got the whole game figured out. Each stage throws a bunch of these weaker guys at you before the actual fight happens to try and whittle down your health a little bit. The lighter punch is not even necessary. It's never actually necessary to jab your opponent. If you time the power punch properly, you can take out every enemy in this game just as simply as I am right here. If this game seems like it could actually be good in a different way, in a different circumstance, that's because it's a port of an arcade game that's actually not that bad. You can see for yourself if you want, there's an unmistakable difference in quality. I'm just showing off the Genesis version because it's the one I'm most familiar with. The enemies, as you can probably tell, don't have to play with the same rules as you. They can punch you whether they're on your plane or not, and if they do punch you, you're stunlocked. Even if you smash the dodge button, the game decides that you're going to counterattack. Even with that incredibly unfair advantage, the game is still extremely easy, as you're seeing right here. There's almost no effort involved once you figure out the game's tricks. That can up there will restore a lot of our health, and that boxing glove lets us punch faster, though neither of them are really necessary. Every single enemy in this game, the bosses, the standard mooks, all of them work the same way. They walk towards you and try to stunlock you with a whole bunch of fast punches. Meaning they're all defeated the same way too, as you see here I'm barely putting any effort into fighting the final boss. Changing the difficulty to hard doesn't really do anything except make the enemies more cheap meaning they can attack you from further away and the timing is really skewed. But yeah, this is the whole game. I'm not exaggerating here. I'm not taking something out of context to make fun of it. This is how the entire game works and literally every stage is like this. Again, if this game looks like it could have promise if it weren't so, you know, bad looking, the arcade version's pretty good. This just seems like it was a very lazy port. This game was somehow released in America, though, if for some reason you want to play it for yourself and have a cartridge copy. We're just going to go ahead and skip ahead to where I went, because that's clearly an inevitability at this point. The arcade version also has much better voice clips. There's a and you know the very classy ending of us just feeling our girlfriend's butt while you know the, there's no, there's nothing to say. So yeah, that's, that's that. That's that.